Welcome to Electra Online. Sometimes we find there are no real solutions to a quadratic equation. And it turns out we're able to find those solutions, even though they're not real, they're imaginary, by using the completing the square method. So this is an example of what that looks like. Here we have x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0. So let's try to solve that by using the completing the square method. Now notice in this particular case, a is equal to 1, so we don't have to do step 1 of the general case. We don't have to divide everything by the numerical coefficient of x squared, because it's equal to 1, so we can step directly to step number 2, which means that we're going to take the, the constant term and move it to the right side. So we have x squared plus x is equal to a negative 1. Next, we're going to take half the coefficient of the middle term, square it, and add it to both sides. So that's step number 3. And so we end up with x squared plus x plus one half quantity squared because one half is half of one. And of course, since we add it to the left side, we have to also add it to the right side. Okay, next, let's see here. We can factor the left side. So when we factor the left side, we get x plus one half quantity squared, so that means we can write the left side as the square of a binomial. That's the whole idea behind using the completion of the square method. And on the right side, we get negative 1 plus a quarter. Of course, that is equal to negative 3 quarters. Now we can uh, take the square root of both sides. So on step number 5, we take the square root of the left side, so we get x plus 1 half is equal to plus or minus the square root of what's on the right side, which is a minus 3 over 4. And that's the key here. We're taking the square root of a negative number, which of course it's not possible. That is an imaginary number. So we'll go ahead and take care of that in just a moment. Step number 6, we're going to move the constant to the right side. So I have x is equal to minus 1 half plus or minus the square root of negative 3 over 4. Now, how do we write that? Well, it can be written as follows. That means that x is equal to minus 1 half plus or minus the square root of 3 over 4 times the square root of a negative 1. And of course, the square root of negative 1 is equal to i, so this can be written as x is equal to minus 1 half plus or minus the square root of 3 over 4, or I guess we can take the square root of 4. Let's simplify that a little bit. So we can take, that's equal to the square root of 3 over 2, because the square root of 4 is equal to 2, times i. And this then would be the imaginary solutions. There's actually two of them. It's minus 1 half plus the square root of 3 over 2i, and minus 1 half minus the square root of 3 over 2i. So these are the two solutions for that particular quadratic equation. They're imaginary, and we found them by using the completion or completing the square method. And that is how it's done.